Thank you so much, Chair. Um, members, any issue that impacts workers, I, I, I take very personally. I grew up in a working class family as a daughter of immigrants. My parents came from different parts of Iran and created a home in Orlando. And they worked multiple jobs to make ends meet. My dad actually went to UCF, go nights, and became an engineer on the weekdays at Florida Space Coast, and then served as a customer service representative at Walt Disney World on the weekends, just so we can make ends meet. And my mom had a degree from Iran she could not use. She worked at fast food restaurants and eventually at Kmart. And she passed away 18 years ago, and I found in her, her wallet a sheet of paper where she wrote her wages. And she never made more than $7.65. So when I hear these debates and, 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 and folks want to create a, a, a new standard that even the staff analysis says this change may lower operating costs for these private employers, meaning they will, they, they don't, they will pay their workers less, I take it really personal because I think about my family and the financial struggles that we had that no matter how hard we worked, we just didn't get that fair shot. I've heard a lot of rhetoric today. This is about the free market. I want to be clear. This has nothing to do with the free market because companies are free to not bid on these contracts. And getting in between local governments and private employers and their contracts, that is, that is as free market as it gets. And if companies weren't applying for these contracts, then the local governments would change them. Again, that is what the free market would allow to happen. And as was already mentioned in testimony, if voters in those local governments did not support those efforts, then they would not only vote against those commissioners and city officials, but they would come up here and lobby for changes, which they have not done. This has been the standard since 2003. It was a compromise between Republicans and Democrats to create this standard where you cannot set a wage mandate for private employers, but in a contractual relationship, when public money is being spent, local governments can make those decisions. And so when I, I hear this disinformation and an assumption that this statue is causing affordable housing crisis, it's causing inflation, I want to remind folks that correlation does not equal causation. And you can't just pick and choose random current events and try to draw them as if they're connected to your bill or as if your bill is going to solve them. The last thing I'll say is that we should do everything we can to allow Floridians to live in the communities they work. There's a reason why these local governments have these ordinances and have these contractual agreements in place. A lot of the emphasis has been on construction workers, but let's be clear, members, this is not just about construction. This is about airport workers. This is about so many of our public workers who keep our economy running, who, who greet the tourists who come here, which, by the way, is the state of Florida's main source of general revenue is sales tax that comes from the workers who you are trying to cut their wages right now. And so I just cannot understand the, the good intent behind this bill. And I want to stress to members that if we really want to create a free market, then we should stop subsidizing and giving corporate tax breaks. And as I sit here today, we have this legislative body debating potentially a $4 billion tax break to the state's largest corporations. Only 1% of Florida businesses even pay a corporate income tax. So let's find those free market solutions and, and by the way, something like this that cuts a, a, a worker's wages would also result in workers needing more government assistance, which I'm pretty sure my colleagues would not approve of. And so for those reasons and more, I am adamantly encouraging members to vote against this bill, and I will proudly vote against this bill. Thank, thank